Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Vicious, and it's time for another tutorial time video. Actually, today is more of a follow-up to a prior tutorial I gave you. The FLV to MP4 without losing any quality, without re-encoding, where we just changed the container. I did that tutorial and it helped a lot of people, but I also have some people coming to me with problems. Uh, and here's the comment I'm going to be referring to. Thanks for setting this up. Did you actually test the file with Premiere Pro? The converted file seems to work in Camtasia for me, but not Premiere Pro. It's still saying 1000 frames per second and won't play. The answer, no, I did not test this with Premiere Pro. I didn't see any reason to because I figured if it works with Vegas, which is actually very picky, it's one of the most pickiest editors I know of, that it would definitely work with a mainstream tool like Adobe Premiere. But I just did the test a few minutes ago since I finally had some new files to test with and it worked just fine for me. So I don't know where the problem's coming from on your side, guys. It might be how you're putting it into your editor or something else. So first thing I'm going to suggest, if it's a codec thing, I know a lot of people look down on codecs, but I use this codec pack, CCCP. I've used it for years and I've never had a problem with it. So if you think it's a codec problem, which I don't think it is, I still recommend you might want to try out the CCCP. It gives you all the codecs you need on your computer in one shot. If you already have another codec pack installed on your computer, don't install both because that can cause you problems. Now, other than that, I'm just going to show you that it works exactly the same as the prior tutorial, and it works for me on Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning. We're going to go to my folder where I have my two newest live streams. They're in FLV format. We need to extract these with the FLV extract. I think I already have it open. Yep, FLV extract. In this program, we simply just drag and drop. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto there, and it's going to extract my two streams. This is going to take a minute, so let's be patient. This is like a two-hour stream or something, so it's going to take a minute. Oh, is it done? It is done. Okay. It didn't take as long as I thought. So look, I have my um, H.264 file here, which is my video and my AAC, which is audio. For people who were saying they didn't get the AAC file, it's probably because your XSplit settings, you have it set to use the Speaks codec and not the AAC codec. So keep that in mind. So now we've got our two raw files. We need to merge them together. For that, we're going to use YAMB beta 2. Now, if you guys are catching this tutorial on the tail end, and the re I'm not going into detail on this because this is a follow-up, so find the first tutorial. The uh, I'll actually be posting this as a video response to it, so you'll find it easy. All right, so we're going to go to create an MP4 file. This is drag and drop stuff here. So we're going to drop in our video. We're going to drop in our audio. We need to go into our video, and we're going to manually set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. That is the frame rate that I capture my videos at. Next, and we're creating that MP4 file. Ding! It is almost done. There we go, done. Yes, we'll quit Yam. All right, now keep in mind, I never use Premiere. I just don't like it. I don't like the workflow. It seems very inefficient to me. I'm just not good with it. But I was man I managed to do this first try. So um, it could just be because I have a new version of it. I have CS 5.5. That could be the reason why, but I don't think that's the case. So here's what I did, and it works just fine for me. Um, we're going to go into here. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes into this crud, all this what do you want to do stuff, I'm going to go to settings. And I'm going to manually set up the stuff that I know the way it works. I know my frame rate is 30 frames per second. I know that my recording is at 1280 by 720. I know that my pixel aspect ratio is 1 square pixels I recorded it off a computer I know that I recorded it as a progressive scan it's not interlaced audio should be 4800 Hertz although I'm not too worried about that right now this video preview stuff I'm not worried about so here I am I got this open and I'm so used to just dragging and dropping from Vegas that's the only way I really know how to work with Premiere let's find my folder we're gonna drag our mp4 up into our whatever this is here, like the files in your project, and then I can drag it onto my timeline. And there it is, it's working just fine. Someone can play it, let's find the play button. 
This is how little I know about Premiere, because I don't even know where to play button is. And I see my mouse cursor moving, and I see that my stream is working properly. So yes, guys, the technique works. Hey guys, how's it going? Vicious hey, is here, huh? and it is time for today's start. Stop it. <laughs> so I know it works on Premiere. So for you guys that were saying, did you test it? No, I didn't, but I just did now, and it works. If it's not working for you, it has to be because of the way you're importing it. A lack of codec. Again, I don't think it's the codec. I'm almost positive it's not the codec. Or it might just be because of an older version of Premiere, but I also think that is not the case. I just think you need to set up your Premiere to have the proper native settings for your video. Make sure you have your frame rate set properly, have your pixel aspect ratio set properly, and all that good stuff. And I think it'll work for you. So if you have any more questions, I'll see if I can help you out, and I'll see you guys next time.